The most pressing priority amid the Israel Hamas war is the protection of civilian lives and allowing vastly larger amounts of humanitarian aid to enter Gaza to prevent catastrophe, said President Taman Shanmugaram. The most important start is to protect innocent civilians in the weeks and months to come and avoid collective punishment of a whole population. He wrote in a Facebook post on Sunday. This is not just because of the requirements of international law or compelling humanitarian reasons, said Mr. Thaman. But because each round of extremism and violence against innocent people will harden hearts and create new enemies. It risks broadening the conflict in the region. And it makes it more difficult to find a path to a future of peace, a future of hope for the young. Mr. Taman's comments come after 28 trucks were allowed into southern Gaza on Saturday. The first convoy of humanitarian supplies since the war began on October 7, when Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel and killed at least 1,400 people. In retaliation, Israel declared a state of war and launched strikes on Gaza, killing at least four. 700 so far, while imposing a blockade on the densely populated enclave. In his post, Mr. Thaman pointed to the trauma felt by Israelis following the Hamas assault, the deadliest such attack since Israel was founded, noting the repeated pogroms against Jews throughout history. He also noted the trauma and desperation faced by Palestinians pointing to both the 16-year Israeli siege of Gaza and the illegal encroachment by armed Israeli settlers in the West Bank. However, this complex history, as well as the grief experienced by Israelis and Palestinians, does not justify the indiscriminate taking of civilian lives on either side, he added. It offends basic human morality and flouts international law, he said. Mr. Thaman reiterated Singapore's stance that a durable and just solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict can be achieved only through a negotiated two-state solution, in line with the relevant United Nations Security Council resolutions. It must enable Palestinians and Israelis to live in peace and security and with dignity, he said. The condolence letters that PM Lee and I send to our counterparts in the Palestinian Authority express hope that all sides will find a way to work towards this critical goal. It will take time. But it can be achieved with the support and commitment of other international parties, he wrote. Anyone with a sense of reality knows that the cycle of violence will keep repeating itself until a permanent political solution is found for Israel and the Palestinians to coexist as neighboring states. With hard assurances for each other's security. In a statement on Saturday, five United Nations agencies, including the Development Programme, Children's Fund and World Food Programme, described the situation in Gaza as catastrophic. Mr. Thaman joined members of the interreligious organization IRO on Sunday morning to pray for peace in the Middle East at the Harmony in Diversity Gallery, National Development Ministry Building, in Maxwell Road. About 80 faith leaders and members of Singapore's oldest interfaith body, including from the local Jewish community, observed a collective prayer for the peace and safety of civilians in Israel and Gaza including those being held hostage. Speaking at the event, IRO President Norm Morican noted that the conflict has affected the lives of innocent individuals and communities. We come together today to offer our prayers with the hope of a better future and recognize the sanctity of human life and fundamental dignity of individuals and communities, he said. Following the prayer, Mr. Thaman spoke to faith leaders at a closed-door dialogue. We had a good dialogue, reaffirming the interfaith understanding and harmony that must be preserved in Singapore, even as we pray and hope for peace and stability in the Middle East. He said on Facebook, Long may we remain a peaceful, multi-religious and multiracial nation, 
with true respect for each of our communities. During an official visit to Saudi Arabia, Prime Minister Li Xinlong told reporters on Friday that Parliament will debate Singapore's position on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict during the next sitting in early November. Several MPs have already filed parliamentary questions on the situation. Stressing Singapore's position on the two-state solution, PM Lee said that both Palestinians and Israelis could not afford to give up on this aspiration. He said, unless you can make progress in that direction, you are doomed to generations of bloodshed and tragedy. And I don't think either side really wants that.